Hello, Munir Anjam with another video on capital project and this one is specific to executives and senior managers and project owners organization. I'm not going to talk a lot. I've recorded a video uh, a while back that is probably about 20 minutes uh, and some other videos related to this topic and in this top video here I'm going to be very specific, very short. And I'm going to share with you some research and some analysis from global organization and mostly focusing on numbers. Um, as executives and senior manager and project owner organization, uh, what you need to know is the following. And again, I'm not, uh, this is based on actual data from project and uh, so it's not opinion. Uh, project that you will manage directly assuming you have built in the project management competencies and capacity inside your organization, perform better than project managed by others. And what you mean by others is mean through project management consultant or through general contractors or engineering consultant whatsoever. So a key important fact to have is that you project you manage directly, do better than when you depend on someone else. It's common sense, maybe, but I don't know why so many organizations are still depending on PMCs and general contractors to manage their project. This is an important finding. The other finding is that, which we discussed in the previous video, is that if you want success on these projects, you really must pay a lot of attention as executive to ensure that the project sponsor and the project managers are following a stage gate approach uh, methodology, which means you should have in your organization system a methodology that follows the stage gate approach. Uh, three, as we also find out of organization that can have a proper project management system and they follow these systems and the methodology, they can expect significant savings in delivering their project in terms of cost and money. You know, even if you're not at the top or best in class in project management, higher level of maturity, maybe three plus on a scale of three to five, are as usually as a point of uh, where you can start to see uh, savings and significant savings uh, on your management of project in terms of cost and schedule and in terms of the cost to manage this project. Uh, and this is uh, from a study from top university uh, that was done years ago, and it's still true. Um, uh, applying best practices such as those from the construction industry institutes or others, as well, like such as the change management process or having a strong stringent change management system can result in significant savings um, uh, to your project, capital cost or total installed cost. So these are just I would just sharing with you just some general information. And to close this video, we're going to raise a question we've raised many times before. As executive and senior manager and project owner organizations, have you or do you consider a project management as a core competence or not? Do you consider project management as essential skills for you to build inside your organization, to build your project management division and department, to manage project directly? If yes or not, and if, of course if yes, uh, but you don't have the capacity today, no one is saying that you should start to uh, kick out your PMCs and your general contractor tomorrow, but start building. Start building that capacity and competence within the organization, and that will help you to save a huge sum for years to come. Have a great day.